Well, to say it's cold outside is an understatement. Gary Wells here from Home Comfort Experts to give us some tips on how to tell if our furnace is keeping up with these frigid temps. How in heaven's name can any furnace keep up with these frigid temps? Uh, it's a lot harder. It's so cold. Right. That's me whining about it just in case you missed it. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I caught it. Uh, okay, okay, you got it. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Well, a home when they are built, the furnace is designed for the square footage, a heat loss uh, of the home, and they're usually set for like a zero degree day. As you know, last night less than that was less than that. So your furnace probably ran pretty much nonstop. I don't know if you listen to your furnace when it runs. You know, last night it probably didn't shut off very often. I can't hear it over my husband snoring, <laughs> but yes, I would agree with you. It. When you get up and walk into another room, yes, mm -hmm. you can hear it running all the time. Right. Uh, as it warms up, then the, the furnace has a chance to, to catch back up. We try and size them for 70 degrees uh, on a zero degree day. So when, if you, if somebody sees like, um, almost like ice on the inside of their windows, mm -hmm. what is that telling us? Telling you, well, like our temperature changed Drastically. drastically, sure. So if your humidity in your house is set at 40 percent mm -hmm. and the temperature outside goes to negative 10 degrees, that humidity, your window is going to get cold. So okay. you may have too much humidity in your house. Either uh, or It's the same if your temperature outside warms up, you, you can put more humidity in the home so it feels more comfortable. Air, the humidity in the air holds, it holds more heat than dry air. So it's not necessarily that our furnace is not working efficiently or mm -hmm. keeping up. It has more to do with the humidity that mm -hmm. is in there. And a lot of our furnaces, like the one I have from your place, mm -hmm. has that humidifier built into it. Correct. And yeah. I can set it where I want it. Right. If you look at the, well, a lot of thermostats will do that for you. Okay. You'll set it at a certain temperature. It has a frost protection. So as it gets colder outside, it'll actually turn down your humidity in the house so it doesn't stick to your windows. As it warms up, it allows it to put more humidity in there uh, so you feel more comfortable. So what about those people that think, well, I'm not gonna be home during the day, mm -hmm. or I don't mind sleeping with it cold, so I'm gonna crank that furnace down. Mm -hmm. Is that an efficient way to run our furnaces? It will save you money as long as you are turning it down for seven to eight hours. Okay. Uh, you know, it's not for everybody. Not everybody is gone for that period of time mm -hmm. through the day. So, you know, if you have a child that's home throughout the day or that type of thing, you may not want to, you know, they say if you turn it down anywhere from five to 10 degrees, it'll save you on your about $180 a year on your fuel cost. Um, but that's not for everybody. Sure. Um, my house, I like a little warmer. I'm a little, a little I'm older. A I'm a wimp. A I'm a little older <laughs> than my wife, so I tend to uh, uh, keep it a little bit, bit warmer in the house. She likes it cooler. Um, so, you know, I don't necessarily set my thermostat up okay. for, especially on the weekends for programming. But throughout the week, it does turn itself back about five degrees, and it saves us on our fuel bill. All right. What a, tell me about this winter replacement special. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's where we basically work with the manufacturer. We promise them that we are going to buy so many furnaces and they give us a great deal. Uh, if you buy an air conditioner at the regular price, you get the furnace at no charge. You just have to pay for the installation. And now is still a good, even though it is cold outside right now, mm -hmm. now still a good time to do that. It is a very good time to do that. You know, any time of the year, you know, depending on your equipment age and how it was maintained, sure. if it wasn't maintained very well, then, you know, you you need to have that done as well. Absolutely, and we could still see an efficiency change. We could still take advantage of an a fit more efficient furnace right now for the rest of the winter. Absolutely. Probably not getting warm tomorrow, is it? It's gonna be 40. That's not warm. <laughs> Just for the record, 75 is warm. It's not going to be 75 tomorrow. Give Home Comfort Experts a call today. They can get you that winter replacement special and get you uh, on the way to a more efficient cooling and heating, which is what you need right now. Uh, job 490-5100. We'll be right back.